In Retro Game of the Week, we dive into our game library and pick out a classic to see if it still holds up today. Let's grab a controller and play some Retro, Retro, Retro Games! Ho! This week we're playing Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, on the original PlayStation. Abe's Odyssey follows the story of a teal-skinned modicon floor sweeper named Abe. I thought I had a good job, but that was before I knew. While working at the meat processing plant one night, he discovers that his gluckin bosses have decided to make a new type of savory meat snack called New and Tasty. Horrifyingly, its main ingredient is to be all the modicon workers. It is now up to Abe to rescue his 99 colleagues and thus end the evil plans of the factory owners once and for all. Abe's Odyssey was a truly beautiful game back in 1997, and even today many games are released that look significantly worse. The dark atmosphere of the factory completely filled your senses as you tried to avoid guards, traps, and other nasty things that could turn you into a pile of bloody giblets. One of the game's unique features was the way in which you had to use Abe's voice to interact with the gaming world. Hello. Hello. Okay. By pressing R1 and the correct button, Abe could give voice commands to guide other workers to safety. Abe could also chant, which allowed him to open portals and possess enemies. Help, help, help. This was where the game really showed its dark sense of humor as you dispatched enemies in elaborate and gruesome fashion. The puzzles in Abe's Odyssey started out fairly simple, but gradually became more complex right up to and beyond the point where they became frustratingly difficult. Luckily, the different sections were short, which helped keep frustration to a minimum. Thrown into the mix were some of the most amusing cutscenes ever created. You simply couldn't help but be charmed by Abe. If one downside to this game has to be mentioned, it is the controls. Characters could take that half second longer to react due to the fact that the game prioritized animation over player input. However, the lack of responsiveness was a small price to pay as you got such an interesting looking game in return. Oddworld Abe's Odyssey did exactly what the title implied, which is to transport you to an odd world. The alien world was presented in a breathtaking way with each area having its own look and feel. <laughs> Oddworld Abe's Odyssey is still totally worth playing today, and all those true fans will be happy to know that a new and improved version is due for release this fall. 